people. It's me, it's Giselle. Hi Taylor, what's up? How are you? Ah, doing a short stream today because I don't have much data left. I'm just going to use up the rest of my high speed data on this last IRL stream. I know. Use up all the data, man. How are you? Ah. Are you excited to start your YouTube? I'm pretty excited. I want to see your commentary on uh, the food places that you go to. You got to be super cri you critic their food. And and stuff. Oh, it's such a warm day. This morning it was really cold, but now it's just getting so warm. It's crazy. I'm just gonna sit here. I don't think I'm gonna go anywhere. I went to the art gallery today. There's uh, an art gallery here, and it was one of the most depressing things ever. <laughs> the art gallery was so sad. It's got a, a lot of uh, sad stuff going on. <laughs> And I'm like, no, not like that. It's way too sad. Um, basically, sadder than Human Rights Museum. Sad in a different way. The the Human Rights Museum. A lot of a lot of the galleries or the displays were about what happened in the past, but. This art gallery is more. There's like the whole f one floor. The entire floor is this person's black and white portrait photos of um, the older, older people basically in Sask Saskatchewan, and the, the them in their homes or in the in a community. I mean, it's all black and white. First, black and white photos are already kind of heavy. And then it was um, it was about the, the the older, the elderly, and it's so sad. Blue wire, hi, what's up? And then there is another gallery up on the second floor or the the third floor that. Um, there's basically it's a digital display. This entire room is dark with giant, um, giant LED displays, and the story is that there is this. I don't remember what river it is. There is this river next to San Francisco, no, um, California. I don't remember where exactly it is, but. The, the government moved the water of the river to support the growing population in the city to support, you know, to supply water. And then because all the water in the river has been moved to a different location, the place where there used to be a river is now all dried up. And uh, there are some really bad sandstorms and natural disasters that happen. And then because of that, the local communities have been seriously impacted by this change. And then because of that, the government set up some uh, video cameras to monitor the area so that if there is a future natural disaster that happens, they can see it happen in those monitors. And then you can sit in that room and watch in those big display video camera to see the whole like dried up area and the, the sandstorm that's happening oh my god it's so freaking sad and the music in the background it just adds the heavy weight hi hello burnt welcome how are you yeah it's really sad and it's so depressing <laughs> but one good thing that happened is that when I went to the art gallery, I was buying for a ticket and the person at the register and administration asked, um, so one ticket for students? 
and I said, instead of saying, oh, I'm sorry, I'm not a student, I kind of cheated and I said, I don't have my student ID, which technically is not a lie. So then she said, oh, it's okay, don't worry. So then she gave me the ticket um, with like the student price. <laughs> It's two dollars cheaper. <laughs> Regular price is twelve dollars and the student price is ten. I will not burn in hell, okay, Custer? She, I did not lie. Technically, I didn't lie. She said, is it one ticket for student? I said, I don't have my ID. And she said, it's fine. So. I mean, it's not my fault. <laughs> no, it's not cheating. Chad is telling Coco to steal things on stream and here you are stealing willingly. I did not steal willingly. That wasn't the question. Well, that was... Well, I, what? When? What, yeah. What did I... I said I don't have my ID. What's wrong with that answer? I, I mean... I was answering <laughs> honestly. <laughs> it saves me two dollars. You know how much you can do with two dollars? You can get a cup of coffee. Now, do I not only went to the art gallery, but also able to get a cup of coffee and sit here and chat? See? I'm an honest person. <laughs> there is no shame. <laughs> Buy two items from the dollar store. See? Exactly. There is no shame in what I was doing. Technically law lying, but changing people's assumptions. I mean, it's not my fault that people assume that I'm a student. I just look like a student with my big backpack. So what can I do? Also, one cool thing about the art gallery is that they have uh, these locker room that's super cool because you can't really bring your backpack in because you're, there are sculptures and stuff and your backpack can accidentally hit something. So they have these locker room that's, that, that can lock up. Basically, you put your bag in the locker and then... Uh, you put you, you you put in a code and then you click the lock button and then the thing just automatically gets locked and then you can come back and put in the same digits to unlock the lock and then uh, you it just it's just reusable it's super cool also their bathroom is really clean I use their bathroom it's very very nice bathroom <laughs> Uh, you're Asian with glasses, so everyone would assume you're a student when I first meet you. Yeah, I should. I should take more advantage of that. I really should. No shame whatsoever. Oh, and then... Oh yeah, guys, my couch surfer is so cool. My couch surfer is freaking epic. He, he um... He doesn't really like the fact that I stream. He doesn't like the internet and uh, social media. But he's super awesome. So he built his entire lake house from the scratch. Not only did he build it, there are so many cool items inside of the house. Like there are so many like little, almost like puzzle pieces. You open this and then there's a door and then you do this. It's so well designed. And then he's got like windows, uh, the glasses in the ceiling. So there's a lot of natural light. And the, uh, the, the place is literally next to a lake. So there's so much nature. He's got two pet squirrels and some really friendly birds in his yard and he built a giant swing a giant gigantic swing and it's so freaking cool i had so much fun there's no there's very limited internet in his um in his lake house 
but oh my goodness and uh, the Jesus Jesus has so much story he, so many stories about his traveling and uh, you know and his experiences in life it's insane and then this morning I feed a bird from my hand the bird flew on my hand took a sunflower seed from my hand not just one multiple I sat there and I was holding the sunflower seeds and the bird just keeps flying on my hand Kirsty boy what's up long time no see how are you I did not smell like poo I did not smell like poo birds don't come to eat poo they just like me just I'm so likable remember to write it down on my journals I know I wrote I tried to write my journal today oh my god I wrote so much that my hand hurts and I still haven't even wrote all the way to Winnipeg yet I haven't even started my journal about my stay in Winnipeg I delayed I delayed my journaling for too long now I have too much to catch up yeah I write guess what I do write it's an intelligent thing to do I know you guys brain too small you can't comprehend people who write it's it's for intellectuals like me <laughs> no my guy I'm not bored in Saskatoon Saskatoon is awesome but I actually asked him to show you his basement <laughs> I'm <laughs> He's got a... Actually, I don't even know he's got a basement. He must do. I have a glow. What glow? You get drunk. <laughs> Not, San Not Santa. No, he's pretty chill. He's a really chill person. He also... Uh, I don't know, he makes his own food. It's a whole design of his house. Because I can't really... Uh, I asked him, like I asked him if I can take some videos about of, of his house. He said it's fine, but he said don't stream it. I, I'm, I said, uh, it's, don't worry, I won't stream it. But there's so many cool things that he did inside of his house. Like there... Oh, I can't even... I can't even start to tell you how epic it is. And... I, I, I can't really shoot a lot of videos inside because I, I, he doesn't like it, you know? <laughs> but I really want it. I'm like, oh my god. And there are, there are staircases that goes to like the second floor. Not the second floor. It's like um, a loft. And it's super. It's a super tiny, cute little room. Ah. Oh. He's going on your... Who is going on? How many stops until Vancouver? I haven't done... I haven't done planning um i didn't i don't really know how i would manage jasper and edmonton and calgary because those three places are next to each other i don't know if i want to spend one week there or two weeks there but then vancouver will be right after that ah uh, i do want to go to vancouver before it gets too cold and gloomy Nagy, hi How's my last day there going so far? It's going great. I'm really enjoying the weather and uh, the weather. <laughs> I mean, Saskatoon has just beautiful nature and the weather. <laughs> Your serial killer hunter list? He's not a serial killer. He's a cool person. Come on. Do you have... You're having too much fun. I don't like it. What do you mean you don't like it? Yeah, see, Canada is too epic. Once I get to the UK, I will be like, What is this? Um, in UK, you don't say garbage. What do you say? Rubbish? What is this rubbish? <laughs> Weather looks real nice. I know... I really think my back either will get super tanned or will get sunburned. I don't really want to get more tanned on my face. That's why I'm facing away from the sun. It's sunny at the end of it. It's starting to get cold in here. It is starting... It's really cold 
um, before sunrise and after sunset. Oh, also, guess what I saw, guys? I saw hundreds of geese flying over the lake. It's like in the nature documentary. I didn't get enough time to take out my phone to take a video. But it's like there are hundreds of geese. They're like, wow, and they're flying. Oh, it was so beautiful. Being miserable and depressed is what British do the best. Hello, crow. It's so cool. Geese are pretty neat. It's pretty fun to watch them from far away. And then knowing that they're going to migrate into to the south. It's actually so beautiful. It's so beautiful. <gasps> it's insane. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. What's Jack going to do four days with no stream? Um, we can chat in Discord. I mean, I won't be able to stream because I, I, you know. Or, or, you can, <laughs> or you can financially support me forty bucks for ten more gigabytes of data. <laughs> Although I don't think there's much to stream. So, for example, tomorrow I'll, it's my last day in Saskatoon, and then after that. I will be on the train, then I will go to Edmonton. Then I don't even know what to do yet. I'm good at I am getting good at it, right? And meet Ginny Titi in Canada. Is Ginny in Canada? Is Ginny in Canada? Is Ginny in Canada? Is she? Is she actually in Canada? Where is she? <laughs> I do want to go meet her. If she's a cat, I want to go see her. Where is she? Um, currently, we're going through house flooding due to heavy rain. It feels... Oh, no. Oh, that sucks. She hates 3G internet. Wait, is she actually... Pretty random, but I like your choice of glasses. Looks cool. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. I just really, I just have good, good. I just look regardless of what I wear. I don't know. I mean, it's great re reset plan, so we'll be here soon enough. <gasps> Gosh, can somebody tell me, is Ginny actually in Canada? Where is she? I want to meet her in person. I don't want to be a creep, but I really like her. If she's in Canada, I want to be a, 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 I mean, if there's an opportunity. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a fan. I shrimp for Ginny. Uh, did you get any screen protector? No, not yet. <laughs> uh, someone who was just as crazy as yesterday. She just finished her UK trip. Two weeks, she arrived today. <gasps> but like where, like where in Canada though? Like where? <gasps> where? No. Is she going to go to Banff soon? Is she going to go to... Send me location! Yeah, send me location! Where? Where? I need her. I need her to sign on my computer. I'm not a creeper! I'm just a... F I'm just one of her fans. I just like her a lot, okay? Plus, she's very nice to people that are that are not creepy. I'm not creepy. I'm not. No, she's. I'm not going to stream sniping her. I'm just. I'm just saying. If we are, if we happen to be in the same city at the same time. I mean, why? Why not? I'm, <laughs> you guys are useless. Where is she? 
just, just wait. Why are you guys so useless? I thought you guys are good at this. If any guys go into what you're gonna do, very different result. I mean, I'm not the good. Ah, real life snipe. No, who's Ginny? Ginny is a Korean live streamer. She also she does IRL streams. She travels a lot. She's a really big streamer. Everyone who stream has probably like ah. Uh, 7k viewers so she's very popular she walked behind me look back haha <laughs> I don't I doubt that she would come to Saskatoon I, sh I guess she's gonna go to um, she would go to Toronto and Niagara Fall I guess that's a must go for for Canada oh my gosh is she gonna be in Halifax oh no no Jenny don't go to Halifax when I'm not there ah. <gasps> Please don't go to Halifax. <laughs> My heart will be broken if she goes to Halifax and I'm not there. <laughs> Guys, come on, go creep on her for me. What does she do? Where is she? Don't be so useless. Come on. <laughs> I don't I don't need to know the exact location. I just need to know the city. The name of the city. Time to get back to my hall. Try to come and say hi when I have a good stream. Thank you, girly boy. Thank you so much. <laughs> hi, you. <laughs> Please do. Why did you have a cat? Oh my god. Oh. I will follow you. Yes. In a very calm calm and respectful way. In a calm and respectful way. Shopping. Ah, she's probably in Toronto. I think that's a reasonable place to land. Especially flying from the Okay. Logically speaking, if she flies from the from Europe to to Canada, she must be somewhere in Toronto or Mont Montreal. Ah, whatever. <sighs> Who told me that? Just completely distracted me from my stream. Now my fangirl part is... I'm fangirling too hard over another streamer. Ah. The calm and respectful stalker. Ah, yeah. She's in Vancouver. No! Stalker when I'm so far away. It's okay, we'll see each other in Banff. You know what? If I stay in Banff and Calgary for two weeks, there is no way that she will she will not go to Banff, right? That's like a must go in Canada. So she must, if she stays in Vancouver for one week, and then she will go to Banff for sure, one week later. Therefore, I will definitely see her in Bam. Oh my god, yes! Oh my god! Oh my god, guys, it's gonna be out of there! It's gonna happen! It will happen! I will respectfully try to see her. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, listen, this is not called stalking. I'm. I'm just respectfully try to meet her. I'm just a, I'm just fangirling someone. What's wrong with being a fangirl? There's nothing wrong. I don't want to know where she lives. I don't want to know her hotel. I don't want to go interrupt her when she's eating food. I just want to casually go say, Jenny, I love you. I love your stream so much. Ah, can you please sign on my face, please? And then I'll be happy. 
can't wait for me. Yeah, I'm actually, it's just a professional collaboration, guys. Like, for a big streamer like me, you know, to meet another streamer like her, it's very normal. It's a common thing amongst Twitch, Twitch streamers. We just do stuff like this. Just like my collaboration with Coco. I will do a collaboration with Ginny and it will be epic. <laughs> it's it's all business yeah she can learn from me you know i can teach her some of my i can give her some of my tips she clearly needs some help to bring more viewers and i can help her do that i can help her with more viewership and more interaction i can teach her how to stream better and uh you know and we'll go from there i'll be her stream guru and uh, bring a enlighten her yeah i just want to do her a favor that's all ah i can't believe she's in canada <laughs> heck yeah right guys heck yeah uh-huh not gonna lie i wouldn't pass pass up the chance to meet jenny either she was wearing like N95 mask. Oh, the clap we didn't know we needed. I know. Oh my gosh, we totally, totally, totally. Ah, ah she's such a big deal though. <laughs> oh, she's so, she's such a big celebrity. Oh my god, the first time me meeting a celebrity crush. I'm going to Vancouver. Not right now. I'm not going to Vancouver right now. I'm, I'll be there in two weeks and more. I'm coming, stalking the dream. Uh, uh, I'm a big deal. I said the crush. What's wrong? I heard, what's wrong with having a girl crush? There's nothing wrong with that. I can carry her bags. I will. I will do that. Think of all the views you can get by stalking. I will not stalk her. Oh my god, calm down. I mean, I would only I would only see if there is an opportunity, if there is an open window, if we happen to be in the same city at the same time. It's a big if. If I will not go out of my way to see her. But if there is an opening, then why not? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? I'm not. Okay, shut up. No, I'm not. Okay. Okay. So what was I saying before one of you guys brought up Ginny? Gosh, why do you have to bring up her name and just, just stir up my internal calmness I was so calm and so happy all of a sudden you bring up her name now now I can't stop thinking about her YouTube with video twitch streamers stalker stream sniper no do I drink I don't I drink what uh, not really weather weather yes weather um, so Nice weather, huh? Uh, it's, it's, it's beautiful here. Um, good day. Beautiful day. Um, uh, next city, yes. No, I'm <laughs> blushing. Stop. I'm not blushing for <clears throat> Next, Next city, yes, yes, yes. Um, next city, uh, Calgary. Calgary. And uh, mean uh, Edmonton, Banff, Banff. <laughs> We're going to Banff. See, okay, I said it first. Okay, I said you mark it. I said I'm going to Banff in about two days. I will be in Alberta. 
I said it first. Now, if Jenny happens to be there during this time that I stay there, it's not my fault that she comes to the same place that I go to. That does not qualify as stalking. Um, all right. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. Uh, la tomorrow, last day in Saskatoon. Oh yeah, my couchsurfing host. Super smart person. Oh yeah, dude's got a PhD. Dude, this dude, my couch surfer, has a PhD in uh, quantum physics. He's, he worked in Japan for two years. Freaking travel, biked around Europe. He biked around Europe and paddled at this uh, West Thailand, one island to a, another island, paddling and spear fishing and living in, in tents and stuff. Like what the heck we do to do is that? Spear fishing, paddling, biking. Honestly, that's pretty insane. That's kind of crazy. And then, yeah, he, he really is. And then, is it? it it basically encouraged just well he gave he basically says he approves what I'm doing basically is me quitting my job traveling alone staying in a foreign country he's like so it's like everyone who was born is in a little bubble like an eggshell that what your parents feeds you. Your parents feeds you information. Your school feeds you information. Your peers feeds you information. Your society feeds you a certain information that you don't have a choice over what you want to live and what you want to believe in. You already born into a society that tell you what you should believe in and what you should supposed to do and what's right, what's wrong. It's only when you go live in a different country that has a different mindset, a different culture, that's when your egg shell can, can start to crack. And you can realize that what you were taught to believe in and what you're taught to think is right and wrong in other culture or in another society is different. And then you will realize that as you grow and see a lot more things, Many times there isn't a right or wrong or what lifestyle is better than another. You have to understand them and then eventually you get to choose what kind of life you want to live in and what belief you want to have. And that comes from experiences by exploring and exposing yourself in a different mindset. And he says, he approves that I'm doing that. And he says, there's nothing more damaging than traveling with with another person with your girlfriend or a boyfriend because you stuck still within the bubble of your own mindset and you don't really open up to meet new people and experience new things and he says the way you're traveling me is good I got his approval two crushes to fight over who's the other crush Happens to be there. I am. I do happen to be there. I feel I should marry this person. <laughs> this is last year you went to India. Yeah, it is. It's cool, right? Pat, pat yourself on the back more. I mean, I didn't pat myself on the back. My couch surfer pat. My culture for approval approved me. Someone who has a big brain, who built his own house with his own hands, give me his thumbs up. <laughs> and that, my friend, is called an epicness. You and you are very welcome. Aren't you honored that you know me? And you're here and uh, aren't you enlightened that I'm sharing my wisdom with you like come on <laughs> I 
And then here I am watching a Chinese girl stream, wasting my life. No, you're not wasting your life. When I'm giving, I'm passing my wisdom to you. <laughs> That's approval. Thank you. <laughs> very good. It's very good. Ah. Uh, I do wish that I could stream at the lake house though. Oh my gosh. That lake house was so cool. Can't even can't even say it with my um with my words or with the camera how beautiful and epic it is. Ah, oh well. The 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 second I told him my stream, he gave me this look. He's like like a disgusted look. He's like what the <laughs> He did not only does he not like social media, he was disgusted by the fact that I stream. <laughs> I was like, oh my god. Twitch streamers are future cult leaders. What do you mean by future cult leader? We're already cult they're already cult leaders. Friday night, uh, drunk in a club. Saturday is just recovering, and today is cleaning and watching your stream. Poor decision, poor decision were made. Poor decision were made on Friday and Saturday, but a good decision made today. Such a cool way to share your journey with others while still traveling alone. Yes, of course, of course. <laughs> That's exactly what I think as well. <laughs> anyway, couch surfer was like, ew, that's disgusting. And also, um, oh, he was basically just saying that he thinks social media is basically either people with really, really small ego that needs approval from other people and validation from other people, or someone who has a really big ego that tries to show off what they don't have. And uh, either way, he doesn't like those people. So. <laughs> oh, oopsie. I know, it's a big eel. Although I get to meet the squirrels. The squirrels and the birds are cute. The big swing was nice. And then my couch, my bed, oh my gosh. The, the, my little couch, it's like a, it's not a bed. It's more like, you know, in the sunroom, there is a place that you can, I don't even know what a sunroom is, I guess. But there is a sunroom that people can lay in the sunroom and then there's a big window. Basically my room, it was the sunroom and I there's a little like small bed thingy that I can lay on the bed and then and if I turn my head to the left, it's just a lake and the, there's a window like all the way down. It's a whole window and you can see outside and there's, there's that like... Which one are you then, small or big? Um, I'm very humble, so I'm small. Totally small. But he loves me. Well, he says he his, his mindset is kind of like... Uh, he likes Taoism and the Buddhism mindset. So he loves everyone. Like Jesus. <laughs> he didn't say that. He didn't say that. What a good timing. What happened? What happened? What's timing? Today is really sunny. I'm hoping before I leave Saskatoon when I get to see some of the Northern Light because my couch surfer said if if the um if the sky is really clear at night, you have a chance to see the Northern Light. But you never know. Have to see the weather and and be lucky. If I get to see the northern light, oh my god! I will make sure to brag about it. You're clipping it. What happened? Okay. <sighs> anyway. Yeah. I'm
pretty pretty happy about it. I haven't really found I haven't really found a, uh, I haven't really found a place to stay though when I get to Edmonton or Jasper. I was trying to find a couch surfer but then I, I'm thinking either I can find a couch surfer or I can find a hostel. But then I haven't even decided where to go first, Edmonton or Jasper. I can go all the way to Jasper and then go to Edmonton, then go to Calgary. Then from there, go back to Jasper. Oh, and then go to Banff. Then from there, go back to Jasper. And then from Jasper, go to Vancouver. So it's like a full triangle. I can do that. I can do that. I can do that. Hello, Ted, Ted Bundy, sorry. I'm just sharing my my thoughts on what to do next after Saskatoon. I'm traveling across Canada um, and uh, today is my last stream in Saskatoon. Tomorrow is my last day and then I don't really have a plan of what to do afterwards. Uh, what's my next stop and where to live, where to stay. I probably should get on that now, otherwise I would actually be homeless. What? Uh, if I actually go homeless, homeless, and so in, uh, can't find a place to stay, I will stream my homeless, um, homeless sleeping under the bridge things. <laughs> I don't think I'll get to the point that I sleep under the bridge. So many decisions, I know, so many things going on. My brain too small, I don't like planning. I kind of just go with the flow. I only booked the train ticket. I didn't book any hotels or a couch surfer or Airbnb. There are... I don't know if I can book Airbnb. Also, long, long weekend is coming up. So if I don't book something now, maybe things will get all booked up because of the long weekend. <gasps> oh, why is there so many things to plan ahead of time? It's freaking annoying. I don't like it. Oh, whoopsie. Uh, you gotta get a... Uh, is Taylor still in chat? Taylor, are you still here? We need the perm permission for the thing. <laughs> Enjoy the rest of the day. Thank you, Maggie. Thank you so much. You too. Have a good one. Thank you for hanging out. Uh, there you go. Can you send it again? Could you send the link one more time? Thank you! Do you guys want to see the surrounding? This is like... Um... Oh! It's okay. I'm here and there is the river. And there's a lot more going on the other way. We can we can we can walk around a little bit if you guys wanna see some see some stuff. I hear music. I think there's some there's people playing music. Tired of seeing <laughs> whatever. What whatever man <laughs> Dude giving middle fingers to me. <laughs> he gave me a well maybe not me, maybe he was giving middle finger to, to you guys. He was like giving lots of middle fingers and he's like, do you see how much of a fuck I gave? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what that means. <laughs> I didn't get to, I didn't get to turn my camera fast enough. It would have been great content. If I turned my camera, he would be giving middle fingers to all of us instead of just me. <laughs> then we can try to upload to what is Billy Billy? Somebody tell me what is freaking Billy Billy? What is Billy Billy? 
Oh, there's live music. Someone's playing music. I think they're rapping. Seems pretty cool. He can't treat you like that. Only I can do that. <laughs> I don't think he was giving. A... Oh, hello, Dark Rider, Ross Call, Billy Billy is Chinese YouTube. It is. Is it actually? Oh my gosh. Can someone be my Chinese YouTube manager and then help me upload stuff on the Chinese website? <laughs> She's like, we're well, going down, I'm taking over down with me. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Let's see what's happening over here. Yay! I just realized that we should end with the poem because we're trying. You to need a phone number to have an account. Oh, so I'm read one I don't have a Chinese phone number. Outside. You need a Chinese phone number or just a phone number? <laughs> I feel like you're here and it's beautiful and your short poems are so sweet. This let's let's it. sit here and see what's going on. Uh, this one is called Presents. I want to give you a million presents. Chinese phone number? To make that grin spread across your lips before I pounce on them. Because I'm a wild cat. And baby, you make me wild. My lioness is attracted to your fur I treat you like this because I need her to go check. And my paws <sighs> can't stop tracing your skin. Bye bye. Don't put so much makeup ladder. on. Thank you. Because if anything ever stopped me from kissing you, I would go crazy. Everything is more with you. There are viewing platforms on the roof and stolen kisses that were so unexpected I forgot how to drive. There are songs of don't worry and goddamn the abyss of those eyes. I'ma fall right in and just stay there. You're not afraid to let me roam because you're the only person that I've drawn dragons in the clouds with and cried beside a piano and kissed on top of si uh, beside a piano and framed in design student inspired art with. Remember those two little figurines? And I said it was gender-based, and you said it wasn't. I want to give you a million presents because I admit I can be a bit of a material queen, but it's mostly because every time you materialize, I melt. I remember once when we didn't talk, and I was drumming, you walked in and my world exploded. I wanted to shout to the group, it's him. What could he possibly be doing here? But you just picked up a djembe and joined the beat like I was the one who'd wandered into your zone. I'm not really sure how this happened, but I remember my cheek touched yours once when I was wearing an outfit of white bed sheets and it didn't feel real. There was a time before that when you told me I would be in your dreams because you were taken with my sparkly dress and you were kidding, but you're seriously becoming a part of mine. Um, I want to give you a million presents because you're a million people. They switch and flow and I never know which one I'm going to meet, but I like them all. You're so unique that things always appear for you and I just want to pick leaves and walk in circles till we lose count. Uh, uh, I told you stay in school. You said, tell that to little Wayne. And your words are like poetry that has never been written, songs that have never been played, and it's only for my ears, and I never want it to stop. When you whisper things, I'm not on the ground. I don't know where I am, but I love the space you create. Let's dress up and party in an unfinished basement that's so picture perfect it's killing me, and I want to touch you all the time. I used to be afraid of the dark, but wrapped in your arms, I feel no harm, no sense of alarm, even with disorientated depth perception. And I don't think you're hiding a cage. I already know the signs, and you haven't been careful enough to be laying a trap. Although painting with you while jazz electrified the surroundings and you kept fucking up my chosen paint colors Amen. was pretty dangerous. But still, I don't feel any walls. I want to attach this concept to something, but I can't, because there's nothing like this. If you feel weak, we, 
You're so mmm when you're joking. How can anyone be so attractive while collecting tax and colored pins off the floor? I gave you a little box to hold yours in. I wonder if you still have it. And I want to attach this concept to something, but I can't because there is nothing like this. Even if this is all this is, and then you're late for your bus and I'm too busy. There will never be another something like this. Thank you for showing me the magic of when the moon meets the sun and the result is not moon rays or starlight, it's sunlit fire. No, there will never be another something like this, but I am so grateful to know that once. I saw you with your phone. Get up here. Give us a final short bit. Yay, she's coming. We just need to see your dress. We need to know. No, there was more. There were more people. I actually, I actually, um, don't know what she was saying. Ah, oh, so bright. I don't, I don't really understand. But I don't, I don't want to walk away in the middle because it's rude. Also, what did it? Okay, did it, did it, did you guys understand what she was saying? What did she say? What does it mean? It sounded like slam poem about a toxic relationship. Oh, really? <laughs> what is a slam poem? What does that mean? <laughs> I need somewhere, I need to get into the shade. The sun is so bright, can't open my eyes. What is poem? <laughs> also, also, um, I remember doing, not like that, but I remember doing some things and then people like get up and walk away in the middle it's not it doesn't feel nice you know what i mean they could have they could be have picking up a phone call or they could have other stuff but if when you're performing and, and someone just got up and leave their seat it doesn't feel good i didn't i didn't want to get up and walk away but <laughs> it's still having a great time It sounds like she threw words into Blender and then just what came out. <laughs> I wish to perform as a Michael Jackson impersonator in public park or city. <gasps> Do it! Why not? Oh, there's a, there's a park here. This dude is having a great time. I do it IRL every day. In, in public or just by yourself? Oh my gosh, we can do a workout over here. Actually, never. now that I think about it, never mind. I don't want to work out. I are all in dance in your house. You should, oh my God, look at, oh, whoa. The nature here is just beautiful. What are, you, what are you laughing about? I work out. What do you think I do every day walking around the city? It's my cardio. Oh. Finally some shade. You do it since you were seven years old. Oh my gosh. Well then keep doing it. Go to it in the public. I need to pull. I'll have them know you've only seen you flex twice and lift her barbell 12 times. What do you guys want me to do? Okay. We here, we're here in the public park area. What do you want to me to do? I'll prove it to you. I'll prove to you how much I can exercise. I mean, I don't need to prove it to you, but I can. Huh? What do you want me to see me do? Except for push-ups and pull-ups. 
do what the lady's doing. The S, the elip, the, uh, the alipidal. What's that? What's the alipidal? Do one. <gasps> I said no push-up. Oh, or pull-ups. Only regular things. Only normal people work out stuff. So. A hundred. A hundred squats. Ten squats? Squats is easy. I see the machines, okay? We got things that you can walk on like a bike. Then you can do this. Then there's this one. I don't know what that one is. Maybe for your leg. Then there's... Um, I think that's the same. Is this this might be for chess? I don't know. Then there's pull-ups and the chess press machine. Okay, and then there's this and this and this. Do it. <laughs> Is it that difficult? Oh my gosh! Is it? Oh my god! Wait! 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 What's the? Okay. How do you do this? Move into proper position and stabilize. Grip handles and push forward in controlled manner. Return to starting position and repeat. All right. Okay, let's go. All right, you don't you don't believe I can do this? Oh my gosh, I got a phone call. I got a phone call from my couch surfer. What do I do? Why is it calling me so early? I have to get. Why is it calling me so early? It's supposed to call me after five. I'm really doing it. Okay, let's go. Here. Yeah. I just have to make sure my phone doesn't fall. All right, here we go. Okay. Can't see my face. Why you guys don't trust me? Okay, I do to do this. Like this. Am I doing this correctly? It's like 6 p.m. for me. Are you in the east? What? That was easy, right? Did I do it wrong? Was that not the way to do it? I, I can do 20 more. I can do 100 more. That's like the easiest thing ever. In a controlled manner. I'll finish here. Can you walk here to see it? I'm on the corner. 
Okay, my couch surfer wants me to meet him at a location. I have to figure out where that is. What face did I make? I have a normal face. I was not changing how I... Okay, I need to figure out the address of my couch surfer. And I have to walk towards that area and be there by 5.30. Okay, let me Google this uh, this location. A normal face, like the face you made when the birds was eating from your hand. Okay, that's a normal face then. Okay, I need to. Can I send another clip? Is the is that the clip of my? <laughs> wait, 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 what happened? Oh, my bot finally works. The bot in Discord finally worked. All right. Uh, my time is on and go to sleep. Okay, Bert, have a good one. That's a 20 minute walking. I can do that. Um, I can't be around more and make fun. Sorry, I can't be. <laughs> go, go to sleep. <gasps> Hi, Ryan, what's up? How are you? Please, someone take over and shut up. Just go by, just go to sleep. You... <laughs> okay, I have to go all the way back. I think I know where that is. Someone has to keep my eagle in check. My eagle is perfectly in check, okay? I'm the most humble person ever. Have a good sleep, bird. Do you guys want to see me do anything else? Huh? All right, I have to I have to reply to him. One sec, let me reply to a text message. No problem. I'll call you when I'm around. Push as hard as fuck, bro. All right, got it. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys, we gotta go back. We gotta go back this way. Oh, are we going to pass by the? Are we going to pass by the performers again? I don't... I don't want to pass by those performers. Arm wrestle. <laughs> how much... Okay, I'll do it. But how much dono would you give me if I asked him to arm wrestle? My arm does not hurt. That machine doesn't... It doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt at all. It's not that difficult to push it. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I was not doing it right. But it doesn't hurt at all. <sighs> all right. Is your phone notifying sound or is mine? It was mine. Why is that confusing? You can just check your phone. 
<laughs> you can just check in and see. Oh no, I don't want to pass by there again. Okay, it's okay. I don't need to. All right, okay. Let's go this way. I have plenty of time. I'll, I need, just need to be there by 5.30, so. Here, 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 let's see some nature. There's nothing but I can hear the notification sound as well. <laughs> Look how beautiful this is. I wanted to, I wanted to do some, um, what's it called? Um, kayaking. I thought there would must. I thought there would be a place that they rent out kayaks, and I can do kayaking. But there was none. I think you, people just go there with their own kayaks and stuff. Isn't that a good business idea to do like a kayaking thing, and you just give people like it's collect fifty dollars an hour? Oh my god! Thank you for the sub, Ryan. Oh my gosh! Thank you so much. <laughs> <gasps> ah! <sighs> yes, yes, give me more money. I need more money. I'm homeless. I'm jobless. I need money. I need financial support. I once again <laughs> need your financial support. I, I once again <laughs> need five million more dollars. And I believe, I believe my viewers, you guys can support me. And in return, I will bring you the best content that you can ever think of. And in return, I will arm wrestle with the strongest people. I'm making better money, but not that good. <laughs> I need to wait, what time do you stream? By the way, okay, what is arson, arsenic? What is arsenic? Huh? I did watch the raw egg video on YouTube. That was a pretty cool content. I also ate a raw onion. I got to put that up too. <laughs> How much do you get out of $5 uh, sub? 50%. Yeah. 50% of the profit goes to the streamer. The rest goes to Twitch. Twitch is the pimp. Arsenic is a deadly element. I was an anti chemistry student back in the day. Oh, okay. <laughs> Got it. So, what do people call you in your stream? They call you Ryan or what do they call you? Donation is better. Donation is better, but sub is kind of like people do it on a regular basis. They keep, they kind of come back every month if they remember. But don't know is like once one time thing, right? Unless you remember to don don't know every every month you don't you donate to the same streamer five dollars a month, then yeah, it's better. But mostly people just renew their subscription. Plus, for bigger streamers, they get 75%. Oh, it's only for... It's only for the smaller guys. Arsenic or Ryan? Oh, I see. Okay, okay. And then what time do you stream? It didn't answer my question. Guys, Ryan is my colleague back at my old company. Or in my old... Well, it's, it's Ryan's... Ryan left the company before I left the company. So he just went to a different company. I just, I just now jobless. Uh, I didn't know you, he was streaming until yesterday. There's an Ryan who, Ryan is I snort arsenic. That's Ryan, that's his real name. 
I'm streaming kind of random times depending on when I have time. Oh, I see. I see. I see how he is. He's my only real life friend. No, I've got more. Ryan, tell people how many friends I have got. From the time that you know me, how many times how do you see me hang out with my friends? I've got a whole bunch. Every Friday, we ask each other's weekend plans and every Monday we go back to the office and ask each other how was your weekend and that was a brilliant friendship <laughs> yeah. I know a lot of people in our old company everybody everybody always says hey what's your plan for the weekend on Friday and then on Monday when you go back to the office people say hey how was your weekend it's like the the most boring question I stream only in a vacation weekend there's no school or when I'm sick oh I see you also stream everybody streams we gotta have a discord uh, section for uh, each other's channel so we can all go check it out I do not miss that company at all <laughs> oh man I guess especially for you do you too do you talk trash about your old company in your stream or no <laughs> I don't know okay so especially for you and some others yeah it was it was not good occasionally you do it was not a very good deal i'm very happy that you got a you got a better offer somewhere else and for other people too when i was streaming no one watches me show you some viewers but they disappear I mean, it depends on their, t depends on time of the day, depends on what everybody's doing. So, and yeah, it also depends on what you're streaming, I guess. For example, I don't have examples actually. Oh, this is the art museum. I was here. You join my Discord? <laughs> don't spill too many beans. Don't tell people my dark secrets and I won't tell anybody yours. We'll keep, <laughs> we'll keep each other's secrets. Uh, uh, actually, my Discord is very quiet most of the time. The, what do they call, what do they call it? Um, tumbleweed. They call my Discord Tumbleweed. Freaking tumbling left and right. So Ryan, you gotta you gotta help me. You gotta go there and and occasionally be like, yo, what's up? <laughs> yo, yo, Giselle, you're the best streamer. Occasionally spill some tea. Occasionally be like, oh my god, Giselle, you're my favorite streamer. Your stream is the best. Oh my god, you're so underrated. Um, yes. <sighs> what, <laughs> what funny moments? I don't have any funny moments. I'm a serial professional worker. I don't have any funny moments. The celery stick, hi! I saw some of your YouTube videos from the past. Yeah, did you like them? You've been September 23rd. You streamed in Discord? Well, you'll check it out. Okay, let me walk this way. Um, here. It's right, I don't have any funny moments. I'm professional.
like the most humiliating one what did i do oh my god okay you know what ryan did okay you know what i'll tell the story wait about what ryan did basically one day i sh i shared the story before one day i was there sitting on my desk eating my wonton soup wonton soup just minding my own business dear ryan walked past by my desk and he and he very kindly asked said oh he very kindly commented that my desk area smells like a skunk and i'm like ryan it does not smell like a skunk i just me eating my lunch Oh. You did, yes, you did. You said you said that my desk smelled like a skunk. <laughs> no, I find it really funny. No, I, I get you know some of the times the food smells like a certain way. Cause I it was the I think it was the cabbage. <laughs> okay. Yeah, exactly. You better be sorry. I'll remember this forever. I will go to your stream and tell your, your viewers how rude you are and ask them to unfollow and unsubscribe and get them all to my channel. That's my scam. <laughs> okay, now Ryan, you can feel more comfortable to spill some, to say something about me. Now, see? I'm just doing you a favor. I'm just I just said something embarrassing that you did. Now you can say it's something that I did. But sadly I don't do anything bad. <laughs> uh, this can't. No, that was not Okay, I might have exaggerated the situation. It was not that bad. I didn't See I don't have an embarrassing moment. I don't, the most embarrassing thing would be Einstein's fart. There was one time I brought Einstein to the office because office, our office is dog friendly. And uh, whenever Einstein farts, he walks to somewhere else and fart and come back. And then one time Einstein was having stomach problems. He freaking walked to, uh, to Ryan's desk, like that shot, not just Ryan's desk, but there's other people there too. Um, that little corner, Einstein walked there, farted, and walked back. <laughs> and they have to evacuate, evacuate that whole area because it was so freaking stinky. <laughs> Everybody just left their desk for five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> It was crazy. <laughs> and then I, I said, just so casually walked away and so calmly walked back. <laughs> I don't feed him the same food anymore. He was just having, he was just having problems. <laughs> and then another day, Einstein tried to jump on the window like a cat. And he fell down, made a huge sound. It was, uh, I don't know what he was thinking. It's not like he's a cat or anything, but that was also kind of funny. <laughs> you didn't know, okay, so one time I fell asleep on my chair, but nobody saw that. So. What else do I do? I don't really do much. I just sit on my desk and I work. I work hard. I, I, stay, I stay up. I don't fall asleep. Except at one time. I remember when you used to like all the corporate data watching Netflix. Oh no! Okay. That, was not, that was unintentional. That was unintentional. That was so early too. I used the data of my... No, that was definitely... 
<laughs> I really thought I was gonna get fired from that. <laughs> yeah, within a week of me getting hired from my job, I used my work phone by accident. I connected the um I connected the <laughs> the mobile hot spot to my laptop and I watched so many YouTube videos and and Netflix and all that and then uh, just came home. I'll see if you can remember any stories. <laughs> I have no embarrassing stories with anybody. Oh, one time I, f I shook hand with someone when my hand was like wet from uh, from the bathroom. I, I just I washed my hand, but I couldn't wipe it off. I could I didn't dry it properly, and someone came to the office to see me, and they're like, "Hey, Giselle, we've been we've been sharing like we've been sharing emails." Right, and then they just they started trying to shake my hand. I'm like, oh my god, finally, nice meeting you in person. I shook his hand, but then I realized my hand is full of like water from the bathroom, and it was very embarrassing. My own version of Netflix for Android phones and tablets. Your own version of Netflix, yeah? What's that? Okay. All right, come this way. We're in the rough area again. What is the Android version? How do you afford the lights and thing? Yeah, how do you? There was this area, this is downtown Saskatoon, by the way. This is downtown Saskatoon, and then the other day somebody told me that this is like a rough neighborhood because a lot of people um, on drugs and there are gang members around here or something. And then I didn't, I, I kind of believed them, but I didn't really believe them. So then I got in an Uber and I asked the Uber driver and the Uber driver said, yeah, it's true. The, the free drug location oh yeah we can go there I don't want to go there it's too scary there's one place there's one area in Vancouver, in Vancouver like that we can go there well I'll show you guys how it says like in Vancouver when we go there that's like the creepiest area oh. this is oh. thank you Dr. Doug Mr. Duck, not Dr. Duck. I was, okay, so this guy behind me is holding a plastic bag, yeah? But the plastic bag... And if I some makeup? The plastic bag was shaped in a way that looked like a duck, like a goose. I thought he was holding a pet goose and I was staring at him I'm like oh that is a pet goose and then he turned his head and I realized it was a plastic bag I don't know who she was talking to she was like you want to buy some makeup but she, I looked at her she was not looking at me and then I turned my head and she was not looking at anybody I have no clue I don't know why I think like that. It was just, it just looked like, it just looked like a goose. The first version I made 2020 horrible because all the movies that I need source to watch. I gotta go, but have a great rest of the stream. Thank you, Ryan. Bye bye. Have fun. Oh, happy birthday to Peter. Bye bye. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. How are you? Good. How are you guys? Good. I'm Good. Kaden. Hi. Hi. What's We're up? We're local rapper. We're local, local rappers. rappers. Oh, nice. This yeah. is our guitar Wait, player. Were you guys across the street. <laughs> were you guys performing at the... Yeah, yeah. Earlier? Okay. Yeah, we were. 
Uh, we, what, are you doing a little vlogging or what? Um, streaming on Twitch. Oh, you're Twitch streaming? Yes. How many viewers you got? I only have nine. Oh, that's I'm fine. I'm a that's small fine. streamer. Oh, hey, that's awesome. <laughs> You'll yeah. your way up. I, I have a song called My Hums. Okay. Yeah, by the... Yeah. Okay. Wait, what's your name? We'll check you out. I'll check you. Do it's you have a YouTube video or something? Yeah, it's KG Line, uh, Bippity Bumper, Huff and Axe in Walmart. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Awesome. Nice yeah. name. What's your name? Uh, I'm Caden. My name is Mick. Yeah. Hi. Uh, Hi. Yeah. So check our channel on YouTube. Yeah, it's called ADHD. ADHD. But you yeah. don't want to you know, type in ADHD uh, and then type in Huffing Axe in Walmart or type in uh, Bippity Bumper. <laughs> yeah. Bippity Bumper. They're really good. 86k views on the uh, oh, nice. Walmart videos. Oh, nice. That's I, awesome. Yeah, I was just well. joking about my humps, but we actually do have a YouTube channel called uh, ADHD. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. That's it, epic. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Uh, awesome. what's, what's your name? Giselle. Oh, uh, Giselle. Yeah. That's a beautiful name. Thank you. Yeah, of course. <laughs> All right, nice Bring meeting you. Here. I'll see you. Around. See you. Bye bye. <laughs> uh, it's 13. I don't know my. I don't see the numbers fast enough. That's no difference. It's 13. 13 and 9, this, uh, it's not that big of a difference. <laughs> I mean, I mean, 9 is one digit, 13 is two digits, so I guess there is a difference, but there's not much of a difference. <laughs> also, what's going on? What happened? Someone has... Oh, thank you for the gift sub! Oh my gosh, I don't know if Ryan's still there. Thank you for the gift thing sub. Four whole people is nothing? I mean, okay, I guess, but I mean, for for someone who like asks how many people watch your stream and they hear like f nine or f 13, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Ah, thank you for the follow. Dart. That's, that's amazing. That's amazing. Thank you for the follow. That's uh, super amazing. Yeah, something like 20 viewers sometimes. Well, I guess it depends on a good day or a good moment then the viewer numbers just go up and down always i guess there's nothing i can predict what was their song name we got oh dry hump <laughs> was it called a dry hump <laughs> i don't remember i uh, i mean just go and <laughs> rewatch that part of the video <laughs> uh, how long have you been streaming i've been streaming for almost a year but I only did IRL for the past month since I started streaming across Canada. I do DG mixing Photoshop and stuff. fan art for stores and st actors and st streamers. Oh, that's super cool. That is awesome. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Huh. I feel like this is uh Interesting here, location, but I don't know. Not a lot going on. Thank you for the follow, Mr. Duck. Can't go back far enough. I don't think it's called dry hump. It's something called a humply hump or something. My DJ makes on YouTube. It has a classic vibe. Okay. Hey, we got to create a new Discord section for, um, for other people's creations and stuff so we can all link up each other's links and then do things we can share each other's creations Taylor here the scrag he's going to start his YouTube channel he and his brother and his sister-in-law are going to do some uh, food taste testing and uh, they're going to make YouTube videos about it they go to a restaurant and try different food and then they'll be they'll they'll know Crit, 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 be a food crit, the bleh, food critic, food critic, something like that. The vibe is like Michael Jackson, New Jack Swain's pop and K-pop. Mm. Nice, nice, nice. Send it in the link for uh in our Discord shared shared videos. That's that link, that channel. So we can all see your YouTube channel. Yeah, sounds good. 
All right, guys, I don't have much time left because I have to stay with my couch surfer. And my couch surfer doesn't like the fact that I stream. So I have to end the stream and then meet my couch surfer and get picked up and then go to the lake house, which is super amazing, by the way. Uh, so I can't stay on the stream any longer. Plus, I don't have much data left to continue streaming anyway. So I have to have to go. Found you because of the category you're in. Many RL streamers are switching from just chat to travel and outdoors. Many RL streamers are switching. Why that? Why is that? Why do they copy me? I don't. What about you? Tell you I have the same as my sister. The same name, really? Why is it copy me? I do travel in the outdoor. Don't copy. <laughs> I'm kidding. All right. All right, guys, I gotta go. It was really nice having a, a little chat with you guys. Thank you so much. And um, yes, I will be back. I mean, I don't know how much data I have left. Maybe I have enough data to do another stream. But I probably will be back after I leave Saskatoon and then I will be in either Jasper or Edmonton. Have not decided yet. I'll share some of my travel plans in Discord with you guys. And uh, I started posting more on my Instagram. So if you're interested, you guys can see some of the stories on Instagram. Shameless plugging in my other socials. Anyway, okay guys. <laughs> Thank you so much for hanging out with me. And uh, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.